Football is the most popular sport in the world, but for some people, that's just not enough. So they've come up with their own crazy way of playing the beautiful game. In this video, I'll be playing seven types of football that are officially recognized sports and that you probably didn't know existed. Let's try out the first type of football. So the first sport that I'm gonna try out is called footbag. So that means we can get rid of this and instead we're gonna need one of these. Footbag is a sport that involves doing tricks with a footbag or hacky sack. Players will compete 1v1 to perform their best tricks and the winner will be decided by a panel of judges. The game was invented in the 1970s and was marketed as a football training aid. I feel like we're definitely starting off easy with footbag compared to the other types of football in this video. That doesn't mean it's not difficult because it is. It's kind of just like this. It's similar to playing football, but completely different. So my reviews on footbag as a sport, it's good fun, it is difficult, but it's pretty limited just doing keep ups with this thing. Now I have a challenge for you guys throughout this video. Out of the eight types of football I'm gonna test today, one of them I made up myself. So it's your job to try and guess which is the fake sport. Good luck. So the next variation of football is basically the exact same as normal football. It's just played at a much slower pace. So this is walking football and it's currently the UK's fastest growing sport played by around 60,000 people in England alone. It's often played by an older age group. It's the same as normal football, but you can only walk and it's a non-contact sport. But watching some of this footage, I think the lines can be blurred on what exactly classes as walking. Right, so the aim is to take the ball past Luke and score a goal. Let's go. <laughs> you can't go to Peter to take the ball past him. <laughs> oh, he's done it! Come on! That's walking football for you. <laughs> so my opinions on the game of walking football, I think it's good fun, but realistically it's made for a much older age group. So hopefully I won't be playing this for quite a few years yet. Right, so this next type of football, come to think of it, should definitely be higher on the list, but we're here now, so let's just try it out. And it involves these. Okay, let's get these unboxed. This type of sport is insane, and you're about to find out why. It's called Roller soccer. Everybody was kung fu fighting. So roller soccer is a game of football played on roller skates. It was created in 1882 and is still being played today. It's a five-a-side game with currently around 200 active players, which isn't very many people, but that's because it's so incredibly difficult to play, as I'm about to find out. I can barely even roller skate, let alone play football with it. So I put the roller skates on, and first things first, I had to get used to riding them, which I promise you is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, oh, I should have brought a helmet, what am I thinking? <laughs> Mate, I actually can't do this. Oh, I'm getting good now. Oh. Right, I think I'm getting used to the skating now. Now it's time to bring, <laughs> to bring in the ball. <laughs> now, after getting the ball involved, the first thing I wanted to learn was how to dribble. As you can see, I was super graceful on these skates, just flying all over the pitch like Messi on wheels. So next up, I decided to go around some cones. Right, the cone test. Yes. Mate, this is not too bad, this. Whoa. Whoa. After getting slightly better, I tried some passing. And finally, could I shoot in roller soccer? Well, not really. <laughs> right, so roller soccer is insane. Whoever invented this is an absolute maniac. This is 100% the most difficult type of football I've tried so far, but there are a few others in the video that could rival this. Right, so when I tell you about this next variation of football, you're gonna think I'm joking, but I'm telling you, it's completely serious. They've even got a world championships for it, and it's called crab football. Right, so the aim of crab football is to play football, but like this. Crab football was created in England in 1863 and it involves players playing the game of football, well, like a crab. Right, first up, I'm trying dribbling. You know what? It's an absolute nightmare. Next up, I've tried some passing. Right, shooting in crab football, let's give it a go. Oh! You can actually get the power, not too bad, you know. Whoa! What? I am the Manuel Neuer of crab football. 
Oh, yeah! To finish off my test of crab football, I tried some 1v1s. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> if I won honest, crab football as a sport is not for me. Definitely the worst one I've tried so far. So we're halfway through playing all the crazy types of football and they only get more ridiculous. But first, I want to show you some of the forms of football that I wasn't able to try out myself. For example, elephant soccer, motorbike football, swamp soccer, and even three-way football are all variations of the beautiful game. Crazy, right? Now, you may have noticed that for this next type of football, I'm not at a football pitch, but instead I'm in a car, and that's because this is Auto Ball. Auto Ball is a 1v1 match with giant goals and a giant football, and obviously cars. I'm the with you. I had to go myself, but the best I could do was recreate an attempt at dribbling. Right, so I've had a little go at auto ball there, but I really don't have the facilities to do this sport justice. So let's head back to the pitch to test out this next type of football. Right, so this variation of football is probably the most difficult one. So I've seen this played live and it's honestly one of the most incredible things I've ever seen and it's blind football. In blind football, all outfield players must be registered as completely blind and every player except for the goalkeeper are blindfolded. It's played five aside and is seriously one of the most impressive forms of football that exists. Many pro footballers have had a go at blind football including David Beckham and Lionel Messi, and even they struggled with it, so I've not got high hopes for how I'm going to do. It's all about, I guess, feeling the ball at your feet. So, like, when the ball's at my feet, it's not too bad, but that's just the start of it. Yeah. If I'm going to run into anything, tell me. So, straight off the bat, it was clear that this was going to take a bit of getting used to. As I mentioned earlier, I've watched blind football in person before, and it's honestly incredible to watch. Where is it? If you ever get the chance, I would definitely recommend it. That is so difficult. I want to try and do a few things, complete a few tasks to really get a feel for how difficult this sport is. Right, this is the control test. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Luke's going to tap a post so I know where to aim. Yeah, this is definitely not easy at all. All right, I'm going to try dribble and shoot now. So very slowly, I started to improve, but there was one final thing I needed to try. Right, so here's the aim. In blind football, the players are absolutely sprinting. It's unbelievable to watch. I'm going to try and go from this side of the box to that side of the box as fast as I can and still keep the ball at my feet. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Oh Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. Go on. No, left, left. Sword, there. No, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You did it! Yeah. <laughs> you did it! I think blind football has got to be down as one of the most difficult variations of football. The only one that could rival it is this next one. Now, next up we have what has got to be the craziest type of football yet. It's the unbelievable sport of cycle ball. Let's go. <laughs> Cycle ball, as the name suggests, is playing football on bikes. Created in Germany, this sport is a true spectacle to watch. And over the next week, I'm going to see how good I can get at it. First up on day one, I just needed to get used to the bike. I'm going to try and hit the ball with some power. Now, after struggling for about an hour, I realised that I was using the wrong equipment. The bike they use had no brakes, strange handlebars, and was a lot lighter. The ball is also a lot smaller and lighter as well, so I tried to replicate this as best as I could, and this was my new bike, and it was the closest I was going to get to the real thing. On day three, I headed back down to the pitch to try my hand at dribbling. Oh, Christ. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this was very difficult, but somehow I managed to pull off this insane skill by accident. I then got some cones involved and tried going around them. Needless to say, that didn't go too well. Oh, this is shocking. And today, it's all about shooting. 
back. I watched some footage and it was all about snapping the handlebars quickly to generate power, which is easier said than done. However much I tried, I struggled to generate as much power as they did. Day six was goalkeeping and that wasn't any easier. Oh yeah, it's gonna save. Oh yeah. Oh. And finally on day seven, this is the level I managed to get to. I was able to do some basic passing, dribble the ball around quite comfortably, and even go around some cones. And I could also do some pretty average shooting. So cycle ball as a sport was very fun to try, but also insanely hard. It could be the hardest of the video, but now it's time to try out the final sport. Square football. This is one of the only variations of football that kind of actually changes the shape of the ball itself. First up, let's do some keep ups. Right, goalkeeper test, square football, let's go. Oh. Oh. So yeah, I can't imagine square football catching on anytime soon. 